Scientists have filmed how the brain makes memories, they say, opening the door for a new post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD treatment. That in a report at Study Finds. A tailor-made microscope is helping scientists take the first snapshots of a living brain storing memories. Researchers from the University of Southern California successfully filmed the memory-creating process in young zebrafish, mapping changes in their brains as they store information. Zebrafish are a popular creature in scientific experiments since they are very similar to humans on a genetic and cellular level. They say the process could even have implications for Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases. The new microscope allows them to get the images of synapses they need without killing the zebrafish, saying that it was good enough to get answers, but not so spectacular that we would need to kill the fish with photons. By keeping the intact fish alive, lead author Professor Don Arnold and colleagues compared synapses over time. The 12-day-old fish were first trained to link the turning on of a light with an infrared laser heating their head. The fish sought to avoid this by swimming away. Fish that remembered this connection would flick their tails. Five hours later, the researchers observed and recorded dramatic gains and losses in the neural junctions. They also altered the animal's DNA so their strength and location was marked with a fluorescent protein that glowed under a beam. The study explains why some memories are stronger than others. For instance, people often remember the name of their childhood best friend, but sometimes struggle to recall the name of a person they just met. The results suggest changes in the number of synapses in code memories. The new findings provide a clue as to why bad memories, such as those that lead to PTSD, are so robust. Find more details on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.